seems to me not to be that difficult to do. Yeah. I have a question for you, John, from the technology uh, department, because yeah, you are, of course, our resident uh, wine judge and technology expert, techno expert. I'm a techno expert. So I was watching C-SPAN, despite uh, you know the party and everything, I did have time, and uh, there was a very, very long hearing uh, with Department of Homeland Security. Did you see this, uh, this, this douche nozzle Schaefer, and they're talking about components coming in from uh, overseas, of course, they mean China. Already preloaded with spyware and key loggers and stuff like that. Did you see this? <coughs> no, I didn't, but I know that's been going on. Well, so here's what's... Uh, and you'll just tell me when you've heard enough of the clip, but it's so entertaining, you almost don't want to stop. So we've got uh, a question is being asked about, you know, of this Department of Homeland Security douche nozzle, Schaefer, saying, is it not true that there is spyware uh, already pre-installed in all of the stuff that we have. And, of course, you know this is the same stuff that the government uses because it's all private contracts. And the guy doesn't want to answer the question. Oh. And the reason why is because, of course, they're the ones installing it. Of course it's the government inst- pre-installing this spyware into our computers. And, that, and he does not want to answer the question. Oh. oh. Thank you. I, uh, I will uh, now recognize myself for, for five minutes. Um, one of the emergency national security concerns is that you have software, infrastructure, uh, hardware, other things that are built overseas that come to the United States with um, uh, items that are embedded already in them by the time they get here to the United States. Um, this poses obvious- Are you clipping your nails? No. Oh. Obviously, security and intellectual property risks. Well, what A, is this happening, Mr. Schaefer? And B, uh, what are we going to do to, to fight back against this? Uh, thank you, sir. The, uh, clearly, supply chain risk management is an issue that the administration is focused on, that uh, Homeland Security working with uh, partners uh, at the table. And, and, how, and how, how are they focused on it? I mean, is this happening? Uh, so is this happening? Whether or not um, there wow. are specific examples of insertions uh, is something I'd rather talk about. In I know you'd way. rather not. It's, it's just a yes or no question. Is this happening or not? Um, we believe that there are, is significant <laughs> risk in the area of supply chain. Is it happening to the best of your knowledge? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I thought I, I thought I threw you a softball to no, begin with. Here. No, no, thank Is this happening or not? Thank you. I, I missed the very beginning of the question and the wording <laughs> that you gave me, and I, I apologize. I don't want to get this wrong. Um, Who? What's there to get wrong? <laughs> he's, he's trying to. He has he, his IFB isn't working. There's no one telling him what to say. So he he's not. I'm going to get so fired for this. I'm so screwed if I if I do this wrong. Uh, are there any? Are you aware of any? Components, software, hardware coming to the United States of America that are already embedded, that have have security risks already embedded into those those components. Uh, I, I am aware that there have been instances where that has happened. So, what are you doing? What is Homeland Security doing about? What can we do about this? This is one of the most complicated and difficult challenges that we have. <laughs> um, the the range of issues. Uh, so it just goes on from there. But it, it uh, the clip, the full clip, will be in the show notes three two zero dot na show notes dot com. So it's clear that the guy you know, he can't say no because if it comes out later, the truth, of course, which is that uh, the, the our own government is having this stuff installed so we can spy on the people and other departments with on each other in the government. He doesn't want to, you know, get thrown in jail for lying. So he can't say no, but he doesn't want to say yes either because, you know, th- then the question will be, well, well, where's this coming from? Who's doing it? He's really frightened, this guy. And he's just a low-level douche nozzle. Wow. So this is a, a, a great piece of testimony. I forget which congressman. Uh, well, there's this for the question. last 10 years, uh, there's been some pretty elaborate and interesting key loggers. Um that uh, keyboard loggers that essentially record everything you do into a file in terms of keyboard activity mm-hmm. and then sends it off in an email surreptitiously. And most people don't know how much 
stuff's being sent from their computer at any given time anyway. All you have is a flashing light on your cable modem. Right. Things constantly sent in data. You don't know what it's doing. And uh, there was a company in New Zealand that specialized in uh, a very interesting uh, key log system. Because most of the stuff, if you, have, if you have two or three different good versions of some anti-spyware and antivirus software, you can spot the key loggers unless they're built in as a rootkit on your operating system. Generally speaking, you can get them off of there. But there are some hardware key loggers that you can't do anything about. And the best ones were made out of New Zealand some years ago. Uh, and they were exact copies of uh, – well, they weren't copies. They took it like a Dell keyboard that would go with one of their top machines that would be sold to the government. And in the keyboard, they would actually put the key logging hardware, and it would do all the stuff in the keyboard as you were typing. And then the keyboard would have ever so often talk to the mailing system or, or to some – some piece of right. software that would then send the data to the home base. Right. So the so the issue is actually the keyboard itself. In fact, I have one of these Apple wireless uh, keyboards. I should probably throw that out. We need to well, get wooden I don't know. keyboards. I mean, it would be very easy to intercept an Apple wireless keyboard, which uh-huh. is possibly the reason that they're so popular. <laughs> yeah, of course. Promoted. You know, we uh, need we need to have no agenda keyboards and a, a secure keyboard. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, actually. made made of wood. A secure keyboard, uh, you know, from a, but the thing is you'd have to have it manufactured from somebody. You'd have to have it checked. You'd have to have uh, some hardware guys go over it to make sure you don't have, the, you know, any spurious circuits. But that's, I think, it's the keyboards nowadays that where, where the spying takes place, right at the keyboard level. Right. Totally impossible to, to detect. Catch. Yeah. And, you know, oh, wow. Well, yeah, we're all going to die. No agenda shots in the morning. 